بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد This is the third درس or sitting uh, in the book عقيدة الواسطية and we left off talking about ahl sunnah wal jamaah and where these terms ahl sunnah and jamaah and the various terms where they come from the various terms <coughs> for example ahl sunnah wal jamaah uh ahl athar ahl hadith uh taifat mansura salafi salaf salih salafiyun all of these terms they come these are sharia terms meaning they come either from kitab ilah or sunnah rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam in denoting uh the people who adhere to the ahadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who adhere to the quran the speech of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which is also revelation which is also revelation the authentic sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and if it is affirmed that it is an authentic narration on the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then it is also wahi as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not uh speak from his desires but rather he spoke from revelation as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Quran and some of the other narrations which affirm for us this name ahl sunnah so that way we're clear as we mentioned imam barbahari a 4th century scholar he mentioned that uh uh al islam i'lam anna al islam huwa sunnah wa sunnatu hi islam that islam is a sunnah and sunnah is islam Uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam coming from the hadith from a hadith the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said if tarakat al yahud la itta wa sab'in farqa wa if tarakat al nasara la ithnatain wa sab'in farqa wa sataftariku hadhihi umma la thalatha wa sab'in farqa kullaha fi an-nar la wahida kullu man hiya ya rasulullah qala man kana ala mithli wa ma kana alayhi wa ashabi al yawm wa kama qala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa ala wasallam the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the Jews broke into 71 sects and the Christians in 72 sects and my nation will break into 73 sects all of them in the hellfire except one then they said man here ya rasulullah who are they ya rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said men can ala mithli those who are upon what i'm upon and what my companions are upon and that they and another nation will uh uh illa wahida wa hiya jamaa except one meaning all of them will be in the hellfire except one one group and he said and they are al jamaa so in that narration which was narrated ruahu muslim uh, ruahu ahmed wa abu dawood that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam specifically mentioned al jamaa so letting us know that this name al uh, al jamaa this comes from the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and as we mentioned in the other hadith ma, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said ma tazal taifatu min ummati zahirin al haqq hatta yatihum amr allah ala dhalik that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam mentioned uh there there won't cease to be a taifa zahirin al haqq and that there's a taifa he referred to them as a taifa meaning uh ahl sunnah those people who adhere to the haqq until the day of uh judgment the these are some of the alqab or some of the names of those people who adhere to the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and these are where that tasmiya or where that name came from also the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said uh in another hadith that uh he he mentioned the firqa firqa tanajiya and he mentioned also the jamaa he said qala sallallahu alaihi wasallam in another narration of that same hadith ma kana ala mithli ma ana ma ana alayhi al yawm wa ashabi you know for those th- those who are upon what i'm upon and uh, uh today and my companions and this was in relation they said ya rasulullah min firqa tanajiya so the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asked who are the saved group and then he responded by saying the jamaa 
He, he responded by saying that those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. So showing us that the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum, they are the asl of the jama'ah, the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, that they are the asl, they are the foundation of the jama'ah. They form the foundation of who Ahl sunnah and Ahl hadith are because they were the uh, ones who were there when the wahi, when the revelation was revealed. They were in the presence of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, and they know they were the a'lam al-nas bi asbab al-nazul. They were the most knowledgeable about the uh, of the reasons uh, the verses of the Qur'an were revealed and the tafsir of the Qur'an. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. In another narration, the Prophet Sallallahu said, He al jama'ah, yad Allah ala jama'ah. He said, and they, mentioning the safe sect again, they are the jama'ah, they are the main body of Muslims. And the hand of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala is on the jama'ah. You know, meaning that Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala is helping the jama'ah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so, uh, as Shaykh al Islam mentioned, he said, Wulihada wasaf al firqa ta najia bi ennaha ahla sunniti wal jama'ah. And with this, that uh, the firqa ta najia, the saved sect, is described as ahla sunniti wal jama'ah. So, all of those, those are just some of the narrations. Uh, Shaykh Al Qadi mentioned in the Sunnah Qad Sabakat Qiyasakum, Fitaba Walla Tab Tada, for in the Kalantudil Ma Akhatta Bil Athar Bil Athar. So one of the Salaf he mentioned that the Sunnah is what has preceded, or the Sunnah precedes your Qiyas. Your qiyasakum by making, uh, you know, comparative reasoning. Your comparative reasoning, and you know those things which are founded upon our opinions and our our compare our our reasoning. Even if it is uh, compared to, we're making comparative reasoning re- reasoning with nusuls with text Islamic texts. But the sunnah that is thabit that is authenticated, it precedes that. You know, it takes precedence over anyone's jurisprudent uh, reasoning. And he said, tabtada." He said, so follow, meaning follow the sunnah of the Prophet tabtada," And do not innovate. Do not create something which is not from this affair uh, in, in the religion. فَإِنَّكَ لَن تُضِلْ مَا أَخَذْتَ بِالْأَثَرِ For verily you will not be misguided, or you cannot be misguided, as long, so long as you hold on to the athar, meaning the narrations, the, the ahadith, ahadith of the Prophet wasallam, the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah wasallam. And there are so many athar of the salaf, radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een, which illustrate for us the importance of following the sunnah, and that these terms, this term ahl sunnah, ahl sunnah wal jama'ah, that it is uh, relevant for us and it is uh, in reference to those who follow the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and hold steadfast in Aqidah to, and in Creed and in Minhaj and methodology and in understanding the Nusus and understanding the text of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Khairan Qarn Qarni, Thumma Ladina Yulonuhum, Thumma Ladina Yulonuhum, Thumma Yaji Akwam Tasbaku Shahada Ahadahum Yaminuhu wa Yaminuhu Shahadatuhu. Ruahu Ahmed fi Musnadi. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa Bukhari wa Muslim uh, mentioned also Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the best uh, of generations, the best of the people is his generation, then those who follow them, then those who follow them. Letting us know that the uh, Qurun Mufaddala, meaning the first three generations, the, t- the Sahaba, the Tabi'een, with Taba'a Tabi'een, that they are the best of this Ummah. They are the best of this Ummah. And they're the Sunnah of the Prophet, they adhered 
to the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ and understood the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ better than uh, anyone. And that they make up the asl of the jama'ah. They make up the foundation of the jama'ah. Uh, the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ, as we mentioned, the narration of Imam Babahari or the the uh, statement of Imam Babahari and we mentioned some of the nasus which shows us and there's so much uh, from the Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem wa anna hadha sarati mustaqeeman fa'tabiyu la ta'tabiyu subul fatafarakum bikum an sabilihi thalikum wasakum bihi la'allakum tattakun Allah tabarak wa ta'ala mentions that verily, this is my this is my straight path. This is the straight path, which is the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Is the Quran and the Sunnah, and that which is the way of the Jama'ah. Uh, and follow it. Follow the straight path of Allah subhanahu wa taala. to be a subul, and do not follow the paths, the various a different path would lead you away from the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and lead you away from Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Uh, فَتَفَرَّقَ بِكُمْ عَنْ سَبِيلِهِ That they will divide you on the, from the straight path, those various paths. And this is my order, in order that you will gain taqwa. لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ In order that you will be God conscious or you will become fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and adhere to His, uh, his, his, his path. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِي أَدْعُوا لَاللَّهِ عَلَى بَصِيرًا أنا ومن اعتبعني والسبحان الله وما أنا من المشركين. Allah تبارك وتعالى says that he ordered the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. He said, "قل." He said, "Say that this is my path and أدعو إلى الله على بصيرة and call to Allah on بصيرة on insight on uh, you know with knowledge and 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 wisdom and بصيرة." Anna women at Tabani and myself and those who follow me was subhanallah and glory be to Allah and I am not from the Mushrikun, not from the the polytheists. So this is the Sabil of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Sabil of, of Allah is adhering to the Jama'ah of the Muslims, the main body of the Muslims, the the, the path of Ahl Sunniti will Jama'ah. And those two ayats they show us the importance of following the Sabil Allah, the Sabil Allah, Sabil Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, Wa Hada Sabil Mu'mineen, and that this is the path of the believers, and this, and that we should avoid, avoid, uh, which tinaba tafarraq, and staying away from dividing. We don't want to divide into new sects and new groups, and we want to stay away from bid'ah in the religion, stay away from religious in a innovation, those things which will take us away from the sabil Allah, which is kitab Allah wa sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And there's so many ayats, وَلَا تَكُونُ كَالَّذِينَ تَفَرَّقُوا وَاخْتَلَفُوا مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَهُمْ الْبَيِّنَاتُ وَأُولَٰئِكَ لَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has mentioned all throughout the Quran and do not be like those he's talking about the, the Bani Israel those who came before you who divided and they separated after uh, what the message was clarified to them after they came with the clear message who came with the clear message the NBA so it shows us that the sunnah of the NBA is that they come as we mentioned before about the two types of guidance the kind of bayan you know with Dalala showing that we uh, the, the messengers after the salatu wasalam that they came with the message and they came to clarify the the, the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and clarify the message they gave their ummah their various nations guidance they gave them clear they clarified the guidance but they were not responsible for the hearts of the people the people themselves that guidance that guided the tawfiq that came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is evidence of what we spoke about before that that uh, 
for one, of being one jama'ah, and number two, the guidance of and, and clarity that comes from the NBA that they guide from, and that we should strive to be uh, an example for others to be guided by. But we're not responsible for their hearts. We're only responsible for conveying the message and showing them uh, the examples. And there are countless ayats which illustrate for this, uh, illustrate these points. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَأَتِيُوا اللَّهُ وَأَتِيُوا رَسُولُ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَرْحَمُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and follow Allah and follow His Messenger in order that you will be, uh, in order that you will ha have uh, mercy upon you, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you mercy. So Allah gives you mercy. You'll also be successful. This is also the path to Jannah by adhering to the Quran and the Sunnah and being from Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah by not dividing from the main body of Muslims. We do not separate ourselves from our brothers and sisters in Islam. If your brother needs help, you call him to the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa subhanahu, uh, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam if you are able to do so. Allah wa ta'ala says, وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِهَبْ لِلَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَقُوا And hold on to all of you to the rope of Allah. And do not divide. Fasara ibn Abbas ma'nahu tamasiku. Ibn Abbas said ma'na ma'nahu uh, that the the meaning of this ayat wa tasimu bihabli lai jami'in wala tafarku and hold on to the path to the to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do not divide. Meaning all of you adhere to the rope of Allah and do not divide. Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma he said that this ayat it means tamasiku be Deen. He said that it means to, would, to hold on to the religion. And what is the religion as Imam Baba Hari explained to us? It is Al-Islam huwa sunnah wa sunnah hi al-Islam. That is that it is the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That it's holding on to the Quran and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Waqala ibn Mas'ud about the same ayah. He said, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. He said, he said that it is the jama'ah, referring to the وَاَعْتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا He said it is the jama'ah. So the jama'ah, the main body of Muslims, they're the ones who don't divide the Muslims. They don't separate themselves from their brothers and sisters and scare their brothers and sisters off. But in fact, they invite them and call them to كتاب الله وسنة رسول صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم. Uh, Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu also said he also mentioned alaykum bi jama'ah fa innaha hablillah alladhi amaru bih so he said Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu or Abi Mas'ud Abi Saud, F1. So I made a mistake. It's not Ibn Mas'ud. This is Abi Mas'ud. Uh, Abi Saud. And he said, in explaining that same verse, he said, Who a jama'ah? He said, It is the jama'ah. And he said, Alaykum bi jama'ah. He said, It is upon you, the jama'ah, holding on to the main body of the Muslims. For verily, it is the hablillah which you were commanded with. That we were commanded, or that was commanded with. So the hablillah, he said that it is the jama'ah, meaning the main body of Muslims. So we have to adhere to the main body of Muslims and listen and obey the leaders and not divide the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and be from ahlul sunnati wal jama'ah, those people who adhere to the deen. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, اتقوا الله وعليكم بسمع وطاء وإن عبد هبشين وإنهم من يعيش منكم بعدي في سيرا اختلاف كثيرة فعليكم بسنة وسنة الخلفاء من بعدي الراشدين المهديين عذوا عليها عذوا عليها بنوا نواجد وإياكم ومحتثر الأمور فإن كل بدعة ضلالة The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in a hadith well known. He said, it is upon you, uh, uh, he said, اتقوا he said, fear Allah. وَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسَمْعِي وَطَاعَ And it is upon you to uh, hear and obey. Even if the leader was an Ethiopian slave, that you should adhere to uh, his leadership. And verily, those who uh, 
will live from amongst you after me. You will see many differences. كثيرة, you'll see many differences. What did he say is a prescription? فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّتِي Then it's upon you my sunnah. وَسُنَّةُ الْخُلَفَاءَ مِنْ بَعْدِي الرَّاشِدِينَ الْمَهْدِينَ And the khulafa after me, the rightly guided khalifat, the predecessors, meaning who? Meaning Abu Bakr first and foremost. وَعُمَرْ ثُمَّ عُمَرْ Then uh, uh, Abu Bakr وَعُمَرْ وَعُثْمَانْ وَعَلِي رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَعْلَى عَنْهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ That it is upon us their sunnah as well. So part of the sunnah of Islam is to follow the way of the Khulafa al-Rashidin. As long as their ijtihad did not go against a nas, and the only reason they would make ijtihad is if they were unaware of a nas, they would not make ijtihad muqabla nas. This is mustahil, mustahil. That the, the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam They were the most adherent They were the jama'ah They were the asl of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah They formed the foundation of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah And we follow them in that which is in agreement with the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And those particular, those Sahabi that we mentioned Radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een They are the Khulafa al-Rashideen al-Mahdeen That the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said That it's alaykum bi sunnati wa sunnata Khulafa al-Rashideen So it's upon us the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And their Sunnah, the Sunnah of the Sahaba to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Especially Abu Bakr wa Umar wa Uthman wa Ali Radiallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'een and there's countless nasus which mentions that. But let's get back to the statements of Sheikh Al Islam. I want to mention a couple of things here from the Sheikh, Sheikh Al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah, his own tarifat of how he understood the term Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, which is in agreement and in accordance with what we've already, what is already preceded which is those statements from the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam and the Salaf Asali Radiallahu Ta'ala Ajma'een that uh, the statements of Shaykh Al-Islam Ibn Taymiyyah Rahimullah Ta'ala are in accordance with that and Shaykh Al-Islam he, uh, he mentioned about the and we'll get to these statements later on in the, in the text of Aqeedah Al-Aqeedah the Wasatiyah where he says وَذَكَرَ تَعْرِيف لِأَهْلُ السُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَاعِ So Shaykh Al-Islam mentioned the definition. He defined Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah in one of his statements. He said, مَنْ قَالَ بِالْكِتَابِ وَالسُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَاعِ كَانَ مِنْ أَهْلُ السُنَّةِ وَالْجَمَاعِ Beautiful, concise, very general statement which encompasses who is Ahl Sunnah. So when we want to know in the very general way who Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah is, who makes up, so that way we can be clear about who is Ahl Sunnah, who is not Ahl Sunnah. How we, how, when someone wants to take someone off out of Ahl Sunnah, they need evidence that this person has left Ahl Sunnah from their statements and their actions and their belief. Is there a b- belief in accordance with Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa Faham al Salaf or not? Shaykh al Islam said, whoever. Uh, من قال بالكتاب والسنة والإجماع. Whoever says or whoever acts or whoever is it uh, practices in accordance with the Quran بالكتاب والسنة the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم والإجماع meaning إجماع of uh, of the Sahaba رضي الله تعالى عنه مجمعين then they are from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And then the Shaykh, Shaykh al-Islam also in another uh, one of his, his uh, books, he mentioned, in أحق الناس بأن تكون فرقة الناجية أهل حديث والسنة. So he said, and the people most, who have the more, more right or the greatest right to be known from amongst the people as the the firqa tanajia ahla hadith wa sunnah meaning the saved sect and ahla hadith the people of hadith and the sunnah are 
is, is the people of Hadith and Sunnah. The people who are Firqat and Najiyah, they are the people of Hadith and Sunnah. So that lets us know that those people who adhere to the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Ijma of the Sahaba, the Ijma of the Salaf al Saleh, Radiallahu Ta'ala Anu Majmaeen, Wa Rahimahumullah Ta'ala Jameen, that those people are Ahlul Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. And Shaykh al Islam also mentioned in another statement, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he mentioned uh, about Ahlul Sunnati Wal Jama'ah, he said, Women also, he mentioned about their description. He said, Al Mutamasikuna Bil Islami Mahda Al Khalis An Shub Wa Ahl Sunnah La Yata Asibuna Bil Ashkhas. Beautiful statement by Shaykh al Islam, and we'll end on that. He said, Rahimullah Ta'ala, about the description of Ahl Sunnah. He said, They are the ones who adhere to Islam in its pure, purity and with. Uh, with in totality in its purity, without dividing and and without uh, uh, you know being in, in divisions, he said Ahl Sunnah they do not uh, they do not blind follow or be prejudiced to particular individuals. Meaning they don't blind follow particular individuals and and. Uh, to particular scholars They don't say this is my scholar Regardless of whether he's on the truth or not I adhere to him But rather they use the the, the, the text of the Quran And the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And the Ijma of the Salaf al-Salih To determine what is the truth And what is not And in, in, in accordance with their statements And within accordance with their actions That's what they use to make their judgments And there are some beautiful, beautiful statements Of Shaykh al-Islam in regards to this And we'll end at that and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.